Okay guys, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. My day has been crap, but I cannot even talk about it. Um, anyways, so my plan for this video was to apply the makeup to do a review on the new Bite Beauty um, Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. And then, um, talk about it at the end and let you guys know what I thought and I couldn't even get that far because that's how much I do not like this foundation um, and it's sucky I you know that um, I feel like I try these foundations hoping that I'm just gonna find this magic foundation that's just gonna change my whole entire face I'm gonna turn into Emreezy but I dislike it so much that I can't even wear this. Like it is going, I don't ever return stuff and it is going back to the freaking store. So first of all, I don't really know, but I'm assuming because of the coverage and the way that this crap went on that um, it, is meant to be a very soft, um, a very, very soft and light coverage. Um, almost like a tinted moisturizer. <sighs> because it literally didn't cover crap on my face. Like this light, tiny little, really old scar didn't cover it and I used my um, hourglass concealer and it didn't go well with it because the concealer was um, the concealer was more high coverage than the foundation so it looked really weird um, you know, like my under eyes are all super, super covered and then the rest of my face looked like I had no makeup on. So it just looked strange. Um, it it actually made my KKW um, contour blend weird, which I have literally, of all the foundations that I've tried, have never had it do that. Um, I've never, ever, ever had a, found, like any foundation, make my <laughs> contour, any kind of contour that I use, whether it be um, Tom Ford, any kind of liquid. Okay, I'm back, sorry, I had a phone call. Um, yeah, I've never had any kind of foundation make my um, cream contours blend weird. And it made it almost unblendable, like it wouldn't blend into my hairline. And as you know, I have vitiligo, so it's pretty important that my, um, anything that I have that goes up around my face or goes around my um, areas of vitiligo, that it uh, blend well, because otherwise you, you can see the difference. Like it's super, super obvious. And it was not good. Um, and then the powder, I'm going to try it with this foundation and just see if there's a difference. Um, but so far the powder, what I noticed when I applied the powder to my face after, it was picking up the foundation. It was like pulling it off. So it wasn't getting me coverage anyway. And then the little teeny bit of coverage that it was giving me it was taking it off. And so I'm kind of like, what the effing crap is going on here? Like, is this meant to be like, like a, you know, a no show foundation? Like a, a no makeup, makeup, no makeup, makeup look? Like, we're gonna make you look like you just woke up? Kind of foundation? Like, I don't, yeah, I still don't understand. Um, so, I could not 
keep that on and um, go out in public like that. So um, I have to go visit um, the hospital and I was definitely not going to do it like that. Um, my makeup looked crappy. And I'm not one that likes super full coverage foundation. I'm, I'm definitely not a Nikki tutorial foundation type of person, but I'm also not a um, no makeup makeup look person. I want to look like I have nice skin and that my um, conceal, you know, like I'm nice and concealed and things like my breakouts and, you know, old scars are at least covered. And um, that did not do that job. That was terrible. So I had to cut this uh, video short because I was not going to be able to show you guys or I couldn't go out of the house like that. So I wasn't going to be able to finish the like a wear test or anything like that because I can't imagine that it would have lasted more than like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, I'm not oily um, everywhere. Um, I am only oily on my T-zone and um, I am normal to dry, I would say more on the normal side um, on the rest of my face. Um, except for right now, I don't know what's going on. It's just this side of my, of my mouth. It's kind of like I'm having like a reaction to something and it's not good um, but this happens to me like uh, often so I'm not really too surprised um, but since I didn't get to really talk about the foundation I mean do what I wanted to with the foundation I guess I could talk to you guys about the concealer I don't really think I did a video on that um, the Hourglass Concealer is amazing, guys. It is one of my absolute new favorites. Um, I, um, my the favorite, the concealer that I was using before, I'm sorry, I'm in a rush. This is not, definitely not like a makeup look I'm trying to like impress anyone with. Because, I, like I said, I, have, I need to go down to the hospital and I still have to get my sons ready to go. But anyways, um, it the concealer that I was using before was the Stay Naked, which is still a really, like, I still think that that is one of the best foundations as well. Um, but this definitely is up there. They are neck and neck with how well they cover and how well they stay. The thing that I like more about the Hourglass found, um, concealer is that it almost sets itself. So you have to add very, very little powder, um, which is nice for anybody with older skin because you tend to get crepiness right here, right? And so if you have to use too much powder to set your concealer, it just doesn't look good. So it's nice that you don't have to do that um, as much with the Hourglass. Um, I've heard other people say they don't have to set it at all. Um, I can't do that. It. Um, I tried the very first time that I used it to not set it and it looked horrible. No, no, that's a lie, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. It didn't look horrible, but it creased. But that is not uncommon for me. I have, which I've had these my entire life, these little tiny little lines right here. Um, and under eye wrinkles, I guess you wanna call them. Um, but I've had them since I was like, you know, born. Um, so any concealer that I use, if I don't set it, um, falls into that space. And uh, so I always have to set my concealer regardless, but I didn't have to set it a lot. I only had to put a little bit and I was good. So 
that was nice because that keeps the craziness from uh, to a minimum, you know. So yeah, I think that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for my eye look. Um, I yeah, I really cannot believe that how like I don't know what maybe it's this clean beauty stuff like i will be the first to admit that i really don't know much about it like i know that it is um brands trying to make their lines um with as least that you know with the um as few amount of chemicals and um unnatural products as possible Sorry, I have like the worst anxiety right now. I'm like going through it. You guys have no idea. Um, and so I don't know if that's just making it so that those products don't work well for me. Cause I tried another brand. It's like EM something. Um, I tried their bronzer and it went on so weird. It was so incredibly patchy. It just, yeah, it did not look good. It looked pretty horrible. Um, and I did, you know, I kept it because like I said, I'm really horrible at returning things. But I'm not gonna be horrible about that this time. Like this has to go back. This is just not, um, it didn't do its job in the slightest. Like it's not even something I could give to my daughter and um, her be able to get use out of it, which is usually what I do. If I buy something and it doesn't work for me, I'll give it to her to try and if she likes it, she can keep it. If not, then you know, I find someone someone to give it to or it just gets tossed which is really wasteful because I mean at that point I've used it so if I take it back to the store they're gonna throw it away anyway so it's like whatever um I guess one thing we can try is I got the new dragon beauty the new this isn't new I got the I bought the dragon beauty um powder because I saw a video of somebody saying they really, really enjoyed this brightening powder. I did not buy the corrector um, just because I've seen more bad reviews on the corrector than I have seen good ones. Basically saying it's way too dark. There's just like nothing that they could do with that. And so they didn't uh, like it. And um, the only person, you know, people that that would be, uh, that that would work for is um, really tan skin. Um, and I'm not dark enough for that, I guess. But I also don't like color correct. I don't know. I've, I remember when color correcting back in the day used to be like something that everyone did, like, you know, they had the green and the pinks and the oranges and the blues and then the list of what those color corrected and what you should use them for, where you should put them and blah, blah, blah. And then I remember, this one um, people were talking about how uh, makeup artists were talking about how incredibly um, unnecessary it is to color correct um, unless you are like a model and you're planning on doing a photo shoot or you have extremely extremely dark circles then there's really no reason to color correct because you I mean it, a concealer should be doing that job right and if it's not then you just need to buy a different concealer so I think Nikita Dragon um, created her brand with um, transgender people in mind and um, transgender people and and drag queens. 
Um, and I think she actually even said that in uh, one of her videos. And not that I have a problem with that. My dog, like, I, yeah, I am the least close-minded person. My daughter is gay. Um, and, you know, I could care less what anybody else does with their life. I have enough of my own damn problems to worry about other people's lives or what they're doing or concerning myself with hating anybody. Um, I love everyone, except for a couple people right now who really made me a smack in the face. That's a story for another day. A, definitely a story time, but it cannot be right now because I just don't have the time for it. Um, but yeah, so I think that she created that line with that group of people in mind, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's just like how I feel, um, even though I buy Julia's plays and, um, I feel like she created that brand with African American people in mind. Right. Um, and that's okay. Like she didn't exclude anybody. She just, you know, made, wanted to make sure that there were shades of foundation for people of color that were getting left out from other brands. And that makes total sense to me because I have, you know, I'm not super um, dark, but I have gone to use uh, certain brands and not been able to find colors that would suit my skin tone. They were either too um, dark or they were, um, To orange I mean you know I'm talking back in the day when um, you would you were trying to find foundations in the drugstore and it was impossible because they didn't you couldn't test the colors out so you're literally holding the bottle up to your face, um, hoping that it's going to work out. And then you get home and they've got three shades or, or like 20 shades of um, pale white and like one shade of like medium orange, you know? So yeah. I just, I remember those days and I remember using foundations that were definitely not my skin tone and using them anyways because I didn't have any other choice because there wasn't any other choice. Um, and then I remember when they would, when they started expanding a little bit, um, I remember it being concealers first, not eyelet, not foundations. And, um, me using concealers all over my face instead of foundation because I found better matches in the concealers than I did in the foundation, which is so sad. So yeah. Um, but the person that I saw trying, I, and I honestly can't remember what influencer it was because it was on YouTube. Um, she was trying the Dragon Beauty um, color corrector and that powder, and she did not like the color corrector. Um, you could see the orange through her foundation, and so she ended up, you know, having to take that off. Um, but she really, like, said that um, the powder was beautiful on and so I was like oh okay well this was someone that I could I felt like I could trust that uh, if it was bad they would say it because they didn't like one thing and they were honest about that and so I bought the powder because I'm always looking for a good powder Uh, I swear, I'm telling you guys, I'm going through it. I 
guess I can share. Um, my husband was assaulted. And, no, I'm not sharing what happened. I can't right now. Um, yeah. So, that's the Breathe, Veronica, just breathe. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know if you guys tried the foundation and what you guys thought because I'm, you know, hoping or wondering um, I'm hoping that some of you guys have tried it and I'm wondering how other people felt about it. I watched one review on it this morning and um, she really liked it. Um, and so I had really high hopes for it when I tried it. I was like, oh, well, that's great, you know? I did notice in her video that her, um, the coverage was like super light, but I didn't, I was like doing like a couple of things at the moment. And so I wasn't like sitting there just super paying like, like, you know, the attention I should have to the video. And so I wasn't sure if she had, um, purposely wanted it to be a uh, light coverage or if that was the foundation. I just, I just remember hearing her at the end say that she really, really enjoyed it and that she was really happy with the wear of it. And so when I used it and it was terrible, I was so confused. I was like, this is, am I, like, what's happening? <laughs> why, why is this not working for me? But, as I've mentioned in other videos, um, what works for one does not always work for the other and everybody has different skin types and everybody has different um, expectations of their foundations and my dogs are going crazy and I'm about to snap. Quiet! Um, Yeah, everyone has different expectations of their foundations and what they're looking for. So what I am looking for may not be what, you know, she was looking for in a foundation. Or the opposite, I don't know. It just, it just did not work for me. And so if you like your foundation to have any kind of coverage, um, Bite Beauty is not the foundation for you. Period, point blank, there's no talk there's yeah I even applied more than I normally would just because um, I was trying to build up the coverage and it didn't happen and then like I said when I put on the powder it lifted it right off of my foundation and I forgot to use the powder over um, my, I'm using, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild uh, foundation right now. And I forgot to use the powder over it because I really wanted to know if that's something that I wanted to keep. Um, so I might wait um, to return it until like tomorrow or something when I can try the powder on again. Um, over something else um, and see if I like it and want to keep it. Um, can we talk about my eyelashes and how like great that serum is working? Oh my gosh, dude, you guys, I love it. It's amazing. I am so glad that Mel Thompson um, recommended it because I really had like none. I had little eyelash nubs when uh, I took off my eyelash extensions and I was really like so sad because I thought oh my gosh dude I'm I really was actually ah 
going to put them back on. That's how much I was freaked out by um, that's how much I was freaked out by the fact that when they took them off, I had none. Like I had little baby lashes, like, like it looked like a crazy, I don't know what's going on. I'm having trouble putting up my lashes on. And it's not going on. You know what's funny is I've noticed that it, even if a brand gets really bad reviews on their foundations, it doesn't matter how many bad reviews they get. I don't think I've ever seen a brand, like a big brand, go, oh my gosh, this is awful, let's reformulate, take it off the shelves. The only brand that I've seen do that, so I can't, never say never. The only brand I've ever seen do that is the It Cosmetics with that one foundation and I genuinely can't even remember what the heck it was called because it was on the shelf for like 5.3 seconds and then I went back to Ulta because I wanted to try it and it was gone and I asked like because the, the display was still there but the foundation was gone. And um, she said she didn't know what happened. She just knew she got an email from, that all the ults got an email um, saying to pull it off of the shelf. So they did. I swear, I swear. Is it just me or do any of your guys' mailmen knock on the door like they're the freaking cops? They piss me off so bad in the mornings because my mailman, I swear, is always someone different. And um, so they always show up at different times. And normally that wouldn't bother me, but when they do it in the morning and my son is asleep, dude, I'm like, I'm about to come outside and fight you if you wake up my son. I don't give a shit if you're delivering my important package. Like, just leave it there. I live in a house with a gate, so I'm not really too worried. Um, a couple of packages in the past have been stolen, but brands usually replace stuff if that happens. You know, you just have to kind of uh, report it to the post office and get a claim number. So stop knocking on my door like you're the damn police. We don't like them around here. <laughs> all right guys this is the finished look i have to get going i need to really get my uh life in order and get out the door um i had so many plans and so many things i needed to do today and i get to do none of those um i might vlog a little bit of what happened and then post it later um when i can if i can and then i will let you guys know what happened um it was a pretty serious incident involving my husband being assaulted and he is in the hospital. And no, he is not gonna die. So if anyone's like, oh my God, your husband's in the hospital and you're over here making a YouTube video. He is fine. He just had to have surgery. Um, I have to get ready anyway because I was there until three o'clock in the morning and I didn't want to show up to the hospital looking like I was dead. Um, and I'm gonna be there all day. So I wanted to feel at least okay and not feel like crap. 
So, all right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will see you guys all soon. And do not get this by beauty foundation. It was not worth it at all. I mean, I wouldn't keep that if I got it free. Uh, yeah, so those are my thoughts on that. All right, guys, see ya.